Most white people are so defensive if you simply ask them if they're racist because they don't want to be labeled one, that they'll usually shut up. Uh, next, we have Mark Dice. Thank you. I'm Professor Mark Dice. I teach intercultural communication at California State University and also conduct corporate training seminars with Fortune 500 companies about diversity, equity, and inclusion or anti-racism in layman's terms. And I just want to go over a few things because, as I'm probably sure you heard, a lot of people are pushing back and opposing critical race theory, the Republicans and the conservatives. So first of all, if anybody starts asking if critical race theory is taught in the schools or applied in corporate America and they seem to be against it, just insinuate that that person is a racist. Most white people are so defensive if you simply ask them if they're racist because they don't want to be labeled one, that they'll usually shut up or insinuate that maybe one of their ancestors owned slaves or that their grandfather was in the KKK. That'll usually get them to stop because we've been making such tremendous progress, but it's time to double down because people are really waking up. We've been able to convince most white people that there's a white privilege problem in America despite Few people knowing that actually Asians have the highest income, numerous Asian groups, Chinese, um, Japanese, even some Indian Americans from India, not, not Native Americans. And also, you know, nobody really talks about this, thankfully, but they are starting to wake up that white people are a minority in California and Hawaii and Texas and soon to be numerous other states, Nevada, uh, Georgia and Maryland as well. And if people start to figure that out, that's going to really undermine our agenda because how are we supposed to paint them as an oppressor class that are keeping down the poor minorities when in fact you know, the white people are minorities in half a dozen states and, and growing, like I said. So if anybody asks anything like that, just tell them that's a Fox News talking point. That's something that Tucker Carlson mentions. Nobody will really pay much attention to them from that point. And despite people starting to wake up to this agenda, uh, we have been having a lot of success with the media. You know, they'll ignore black supremacist crimes, like when Mike Xavier Johnson killed all those police officers in Dallas, Texas during a Black Lives Matter march. The media thankfully swept that under the rug and ignored that. Also, that subway shooter in Brooklyn, he was a black supremacist as well. He thought that he got fired because uh, he imagined that it was a racist boss and then that really set him off. So thankfully, the media pushed that one under the rug as well. Um, but we're having a lot of problems. Tucker Carlson's the most viewed host on cable news. You know, if it wasn't for a lot of these people poking their nose around, you know, we would have been able to make a lot more progress now. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Check back on a regular basis. And to help spread the word, order a liberalism find a cure shirt from my online store at markdice.com. Click the link in the description below. Or if that's not your style, pick up a warning contains facts and opinions. Some may find offensive shirt, an F Joe Biden shirt, or any of my awesome designs. All available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.